you heard me right, haircut. Why not pass the time waiting to get in the chair with a good book. Sounds pretty good to me. That's how a new group in Norfolk hopes to get kids interested in reading. Center on your sides, Kara Dixon is here with the Razor Sharp Reader's Mission. Kara. Yeah, Anita, Tom, the organization wanted to meet kids, specifically African American kids, where they are. And to many, that's the barbershop. So why not initiate them into reading, something that will help them succeed throughout their lives? Inside a place known for helping the community look sharp is a program that's hoping to sharpen the minds of their youngest customers. It's like a rites of passage. It's a it's a community activity in the African American community. So why not meet the children where they are already? Clever Communities in Action is teaming up with better barbers to make it a better place to learn. We haven't been learning about African American adventures, and I want to learn more about them. The greatest by Walter Dean Myers, a book about Muhammad Ali. Devon Dale and Alonzo Hoffman, just two of the new razor sharp readers involved with the new program. It's a good way to make sure kids know how to read and help them stay a great reader. The organization's president, Star Armstrong, says they started razor sharp to close the achievement gap many African American students struggle with. There are a plethora of reasons as to why there is an achievement gap, but part of that does have to do with representation. So when kids come in, they pick out a book and read it to their barbers. Playboys. Who but those characters on the pages look a lot like those in these seats reading them. When it comes to learning, it is very important that children, that everybody has the ability to see themselves represent it positively. I might want to do that one day. I might want to grow up and become a basketball player or a football player, or I might want to become a lawyer. And it's that inspiration they're hoping to spark here with the help of mentorships one haircut at a time. They look forward to going and get their haircut. And so the barbers now realize that they're making a difference through that haircut. And Armstrong says this is the first program they've done inside a barbershop like this in Norfolk, but they're hoping to expand. For more information, visit wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.